But keep reading. Look at the end of verse 51 because something else happens. After that veil was torn, he touched the earth. The earth, it says in verse 51, quaked and the rocks split open. Do you remember on Palm Sunday, Luke 1940, Jesus said when they were saying, why are you letting all these people shout and scream and call you Hosanna? Jesus said if they weren't doing that, he said the rocks would scream, the rocks would cry out. Well, here on the cross, in the greatest moment of history, as it unfolds now, no one is crying out Christ's glory. Only days before, thousands and thousands had thronged him, shouting Hosanna. They treated him like a king, but now no one, no one raises their voice in protest. No one says, why are you crucifying the Christ, God the Son? It's amazing. Where were they? Why, Bartimaeus, he made you see and and you shouted after him on the road to Jericho. Why are you so quiet now? Why aren't you shouting at the foot of the cross? And how about you, Lazarus? It's only a week ago. He raised you from the dead. Where are you now? Can't you say anything? How about Nicodemus? You came one night seeking, and you found in him eternal life. Why don't you stand up and say something? But he didn't. And disciples, he took you everywhere. You witnessed his deity for three years. He calmed the sea, raised the dead. He put shining eyes into dark, empty sockets. He cast out demons. He loved you to the end. Where are you now? Doesn't anybody have anything to say? Can't you speak up for him? But it was absolutely silent. No one protested Christ's crucifixion. So since no one else would speak up, God picked a dying thief who would say in his dying moments, Jesus, remember me. And Jesus took him with him that day to heaven. And Jesus picked a pagan Roman governor to put over his head a declaration that he was the Messiah, the Christ. And he had it in three languages. But Jesus picked the earth because it quaked and the rocks cried out in that huge convulsion of the earth that their creator was being crucified so jesus on the cross as the light of the world first reached up touched the sun as the great high priest he reached over and he touched the temple and then as the creator of the universe he reached down and touched the earth